Okay, we're going to tour iMovie. When you're on the Mac, you should see an iMovie icon in your dock. If you don't, you can search for it in the Applications folder. I will click on the dock, iMovie, and let's get started. Okay, on the bottom of the screen, you're going to see any video that has been imported onto your specific machine. So here I have some video from 2009. Okay, here's some from 2010 and from 2011. So that's on the bottom part. That Those are your events and it's your library and it contains all the video that happens to be on your machine. Now up top is your project library. So if you haven't ever been on iMovie, you probably don't have any projects here. But as soon as you click on File, New Project, which I will do, and you can always pick themes and you can always do this later, so let's just start with no theme at this point. And then you can name your project, of course. I'll just call it Summer. And you can always choose your widescreen, your aspect ratio to widescreen or standard. I'll just leave it widescreen for now. And this is one place where you can add certain transitions. You can have the, the iMovie program automatically add them. We can always change this later, so I'm just going to leave that at this point. And then I will, I will click Create. And now in this project I have no video that I've added to this project at this time so I would have to go down to my already loaded projects we can click on this 2011 and then I might have some video here that I that I could take in okay so if I wanted to add some video if I wanted to add this video right here I can click on it and it highlights here a yellow area and if I needed more of that I can click and drag and let's say I wanted just that part right there if I double click it will take the entire section from start to be from start to end so I think I'm just going to take this little bit and I'll have it stop right there and I'll click and drag this and drop it into the project. So now I've taken video from my already loaded video on my computer and I drag it up to my project. So now I have some video in my project, but I want more. I'm going to scroll down and I want to choose this part. So I click on it to get my yellow bars around it. I size just the area I want and then I click and drag that up. Now I have two parts to my project. And I took from all of this shooting down below, you can see I didn't use all of it, I just used some. And here's also what's interesting. This orange line here, if I click on that, that orange line signifies that I have used this video in my project. So I can come down here, and I just selected this area, and you see how it has orange now. That means it's in my project. So that way you can keep track of what, it, what you've used and what you haven't. All right, now I want to insert a picture. So I'm going to click on the camera, which is on the right side, middle right-hand side of your window. And if I have pictures in my iPhoto, which I do, I can scroll through here and find the picture that I want to insert somewhere in my movie, in my project. So if I find a picture, let's say it's let's say it's this one. All right, and I'm going to put it in between the first movie clip and the second. So notice this green line there. As I move it around, that's where it's going to put it. So I'm going to put it in between the first and the second. So I let go of it. So now I have video. And when it gets down here, I have a still picture. 
Notice the Ken Burns effect. As you look at the screen, it's scrolling, and we can turn that off if you wish. We'll leave it there for the moment. And then it goes back to the video. One thing I haven't mentioned about iMovie, what I love, is that you don't have to save. It saves for you as you work. We've all been there where we've worked and worked and worked and then all of a sudden the program quits and we forgot to save and we lose it all. So you're okay on this one. 